In this tutorial, you will learn how to install and configure FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server. Go to the FileZilla Pro site and purchase FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server, then download it. Confirm you agree to FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server license terms by clicking on the I agree button. Select what to install. Normally you want both the server and the administration interface to configure it. By selecting the start menu shortcuts or desktop icons, the installer will add links to the administration interface and to start or stop the server. Browse and choose where to install it or just click next and get it installed in the default location. Choose a start menu folder or enter one. FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server is installed as a Windows service and you can start it manually or automatically. The checkbox to start the server after the setup completes is selected by default. You have to set the port on which the FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server will listen to connections from the administration interface. The port used to serve client connections will be set later. Choose your administrator password and enter it. Retype it to confirm it. If you don't set a password, for security reasons you can configure only servers responding on localhost. The administration interface can be set to start automatically for every user, only for the current user, or manually. Take note of the fingerprint of the TLS certificate the server uses for administrative connections so that you can double check it later when you connect for the first time. The installation is complete, you can now start configuring FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server. If you haven't registered FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server yet, by default it invites you to register via the internet. Enter the registration key and click on the OK button. Your server is now registered. To start configuring FileZilla Pro Enterprise click on Server and select Configure. First, we need to create a user. To create a user, click on the Add button, choose a name for the user and select the type of authentication. You can allow the user to access the server with or without a password, using system credentials, or even using a second factor authentication. For example, you can set slash as virtual path, associate a native path to it and set the permissions you like. Select the checkbox create native directory if it doesn't exist if you want the server to create the directory if that doesn't exist. Now you can connect to the server, for example using the FileZilla client. If you are connecting to the server from the same host, enter sftp colon double slash 127.0.0.1 in the host field, then enter the username and its password. The FileZilla client will display the SFTP server's certificate fingerprint and ask you to confirm you trust this host. Go on the server's administration panel and under protocol settings select SFTP then see if the fingerprints match. If they match click on the OK button to connect to the server, you're now connected to the SFTP server. In this video, you learned how to install FileZilla server, how to create your first user, and how to connect to the SFTP server. FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server is a fast, secure and reliable file transfer server for Windows. It supports FTP, FTPS and SFTP, user impersonation, second factor authentication and much more. Do you need to store and share files safely? Time to get your copy of FileZilla Pro Enterprise Server. Go to FileZillaPro.com and buy it with confidence. See you in the next video.